There are a number of ways to cut and edit your sound in Pro Tools. In this video, we're going to go over a few of them. First, make sure you're in the slip editing mode. You can double check this by looking in the top left hand corner and making sure that slip is highlighted. First, we're going to learn how to make splits into the audio clips that you've imported into your timeline. If you left click anywhere in the upper part of your audio clip, the playhead will follow. Again, the playhead is that vertical flashing line. Wherever the playhead is at, I can make an edit. I can make this edit by pressing the B key. Once I've done this, I've split the clip into two separate clips. I can place my playhead somewhere else, hit B again, and now I've got three clips. If I select a clip by clicking once with my grabber tool, the clip becomes highlighted. And now I only need to hit delete. And that piece of the clip has been edited out. So once again, left click to place the playhead, hit B to make a cut. You can move each piece of this now freely as its own individual clip. I can delete whatever I'd like by hitting the delete key. I can use Command Z to undo this action like in a lot of other programs. Another way to edit audio is to take my selector tool, left click and hold, or one finger tap and hold, and drag along the timeline and let go. Anything that's highlighted can be deleted. Now just hit the delete key. While this can be a little bit faster, it's not often as accurate as making individual cuts before you make an edit. We can also edit audio by using the trimming tool. If I go to the far left center, you'll see that my cursor becomes an inward facing bracket. If I go to the far right, I'll get the exact same bracket. If I left click and hold and drag inward, I can trim the audio out of the clip. I can do the exact same behavior with the keyboard shortcuts A and S. Place your playhead wherever you'd like to make an edit. And when I click A, it will trim the audio in from the left. And if I place my playhead and click S, it will trim in the audio from the right. That's it. Editing in Pro Tools is pretty easy. Now let's talk about the shuffle editing mode. The shuffle editing mode behaves a little bit differently. We can go into this editing mode by clicking shuffle in the top left hand corner. All the tools we just went over behave the same way in shuffle editing mode, but when we delete sound in the shuffle editing mode, we also delete the time used for that audio in the timeline, and as a result, all of the audio in the track shuffles over into the space that was deleted. Let's take a look. In slip editing mode, we can make a cut by hitting B, make another cut by hitting B, highlight, and delete. When we do this, none of the clips move in the timeline. They stay exactly as they were. When I'm in shuffle editing mode, I can place my playhead and make an edit. I can place my playhead and make an edit. When I highlight and delete now, you'll notice that the clip snaps over and gets rid of all the space that was there previously in the slip editing mode. This can be handy for editing dialogue or any number of things, but it does behave differently and you should be aware of that. If I make an edit in slip editing mode, and delete something, and then shift over to shuffle editing mode, you'll see that I can't move these clips as freely as I could in slip editing mode. But if I click and hold the clip and drag it far enough, you'll see that it snaps over and fills in that space. So it's a little easier to work in slip editing mode as it's kind of forgiving for moving things around in the timeline whereas shuffle editing mode is pretty absolute, but they both have their uses. You can edit across multiple tracks in both editing modes. 
you can either left click in a place you'd like to edit and drag across multiple tracks and hit delete. You can do this across as many tracks as you'd like. Just left click and hold and drag across the tracks, create a time selection and hit delete. I'm doing all of this in slip editing mode and you'll notice that the clips that are remaining stay in place. If I did that same thing in shuffle editing mode, Click and hold, drag across multiple tracks. Now watch what happens. All the tracks move uniformly. If I only did an edit on one track with shuffle editing mode, watch what happens to the top row. Only that row shuffles over. So if there was a meaningful time relationship between these two clips, that's messed up now. So you have to be careful when you're using shuffle editing mode as it can undo and move clips unexpectedly. If you're editing a number of clips that happen to be playing at the same time, you can simply click and drag in the timeline just above all the clips and it will select all the clips automatically and you can hit delete and it will effectively edit all three clips at the same time. All of this can be undone. If I make an edit to a clip and delete half of that clip, I can actually use my trim tool right here, left click and hold, and pull the clip back out to include all of the audio that I edited away. This makes it very easy to fine tune editing. For example, if I wanted to remove uh, morally, intellectually, and the uh before morally, I could trim it in and listen to the audio. Morally, intellectually. But I've cut too much away. It starts abruptly and I lose a lot of the M sound. Morally, intellectually, and otherwise. And then so if I zoom in a little bit and use my trim tool, I can drag some of that audio that I cut away back. When we listen to it now, morally, intellectually, it sounds a little bit better, and I'll keep refining that until it sounds the way that I'd like. Morally, intellectually, and otherwise, and then. And to edit is to do this over and over and over again. For another example, uh, we would be recognized. And if I wanted to get rid of the uh before we would be recognized, I'd listen to the clip. Uh, we would be recognized. I can see that uh starts here, and we would be recognized starts somewhere around there. If I was zoomed out really far, I would not be able to make these choices. So remember, zoom in when you're doing a lot of critical editing. I place my cursor, listen to it. Uh, we would be Locate where uh might be. Locate where the clip that I want to keep might be. We would be recognized. We would be recognized. So I can hear that we would be recognized that that edit would be pretty good if I made it. So I'm going to hit B, make the cut, move my clip over. Let's take a listen to it now. We would be recognized. That's pretty good. Then I can use the trim tool to get rid of a little bit of that um that's still remaining here. Economically. Uh, we so I'll trim that uh away. Then I'll grab the clip and drag it back over. And now if we listen to the whole clip and otherwise, and then try and do something for ourselves economically, we would be recognized and accepted. And now you can see the uh is effectively removed. So that's just a brief example of how to do some minor editing in Pro Tools. There are other editing modes other than slip and shuffle, but those other modes are less applicable to the work we're doing here in this school. So when in doubt, just remember, Left click to place your playhead, B to make an edit, the delete button to delete any audio, and the grabber tool to move the audio around. That's all you really need to remember.